wild last night, fellas. Were you watching? And ladies, Jalen Brunson excels in a controversial Knicks win, putting up 35 points, dishing 12 assists. The Knicks beat the Pistons by two points at home in a game which they were favored by 11 and a half points, according to ESPN Bet. The game ended in controversy as an apparent Dante Vincenzo foul on All-Star Thompson with roughly eight seconds left in the game was not called. Where's the New York media now? The absolute worst call of the season. No call. And enough's enough. We've, we've done it the right way. <clears throat> we've called the league. We've sent in clips. We're sick of hearing the same stuff over and over again. We had a chance to win the game, <clears throat> and the guy dove into Asar's legs, and there was a no call. That, that's an abomination. You cannot miss that in an NBA game, period. And I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of our guys asking me, what more can we do, coach? That situation is exhibit A to what we've been dealing with all season long, and enough's enough. You cannot dive into a guy's legs in a big time game like that and there be a no call. It's ridiculous and we're tired of it. We just want a fair game called, period. And I got nothing else to say. We want a fair game and that was not fair. I'm done. Monty fired up, and that's uncharacteristic of him. Upon post-game review, we determined that Thompson gets to the ball first and then was deprived of the opportunity to gain possession of the ball, James Williams said. Therefore, a loose ball foul should have been whistled on New York's Dante DiVincenzo. Okay, Stephen A., let's get to the crux of it. Does the NBA have a referee problem? I think they do. Um, first of all, Monty Williams is 1,000% correct, and I'm a Knicks fan. We all know that. I'm yeah. just happy they won, <laughs> but not like that. I mean, that was a mugging right there. Dante DiVincenzo clearly dove right in to Saw Thompson's legs. There is no question that that should have been called. That no call was egregious. And Monty Williams, I want to say this to the NBA, don't find this man. He does not deserve a fine for, you know, the outburst or what you want to call an outburst, which is an outburst according to his standards because Monty Williams is usually very composed. That was an egregious missed call, an egregious no call. There is no excuse for it whatsoever. And then I think here's what it comes down to. First of all, we got to say this, Janae and Shannon. NBA officiating the last two-minute reports, it's a waste of time. Yeah. It's a waste of time. Yeah. It's just a waste of time. I mean, all you're going to do is ignore, well, you know, I mean, we, we, missed uh, apart, uh, we missed it. But do you change the outcome? No. No, no you're not going to do anything. So if you're not going to, all you're doing is acknowledging that you made You're making mistake. it worse, Stephen. Yes. Actually, actually, that's all yes. you're doing, okay? And, and, and me personally, I wouldn't mind addition, an additional official being added that never, that, that never extends past half court. Somebody that watched the back end of the action, that's number one. Number two, instant replay. I think we have that for a reason. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Can't, can't, can't we look at that and say, excuse me, let's go to the videotape. Clearly, this is what the situation was. If you could do it post-game, why can't you do it during the game? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to hear about that. I mean, it's not, you know, you, you ran out of timeouts or you, you ran out of challenges. I don't want to hear that. Something that egregious, that egregious, that miss, you coming out after the game and, 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 and expressing your mea culpa means absolutely positively nothing. And that's the biggest reason why there's an officiating problem. It's not that you don't have great officials. It's not that you don't have officials that don't know what they're doing. But too many times there's a miss. And in the age of technology, Shannon and Shanae, when there's, you, again, the two-minute report. Again, instant replay. Again, supposed to be your professional officials. Again, the league office with the heavy hand down upon the officials. There are too many layers where something like this being missed mm -hmm. is inexcusable. So I completely agree with Monty Williams on his outburst. He is absolutely right, and I definitely believe there's a referee problem, but it's not just because of the referee. It's because of the heavy hand of the league office really, really putting their foot down about certain things, and unfortunately, you got some of these referees out there that are tighter than the players. They're, playing, they're, they're, they're officiating is tighter than some of the players are playing. That's all I got to say. Sorry, I was distracted when you said Mia Culpa because I just watched that movie. I don't know, I don't know if you guys <laughs> yeah, saw it on Netflix. I did not uh, yet. I did not yet. Un un unfortunately, on the court, we saw a missed opportunity on Netflix. It was another missed opportunity. Gotcha. Even though 
Salute the Queen Kelly Rowland, okay? Okay. But I agree. I definitely agree because 99% of the time, I don't like to hate on the refs because they take the short end of the stick most of the time, right? Right. But the truth of the matter is what we have seen is a lack of consistency in end of games. So the NBA does have a problem end of games. And the irony is that the New York Knicks, they've been a part of this over the course of the season twice. Yeah. And if you, like, we're seeing... Well, they benefited two weeks ago against the Rockets. Correct. Yeah. And in that Rockets game, you see that end of game situation where Jalen Brunson gets called for a foul versus right. Aaron Holiday, and that did not work to Rockets. their benefit, right? But they did protest the outcome, and did anything change, guys? No. No, look at the play right here. Yeah. Like, that was called as a foul when really it was nothing there. It was just some verticality, right? True. Now we fast forward two weeks, and Knicks are again in the garden trying to come back, and literally a star Thompson is, is tackled. Yes. Like, tackled in front of everyone to see. Yes. And the inability to have a consistent, uh, you know, idea from the refs. Are we going to call fouls at the end of games? Because we all know as hoopers, myself, included like typically we feel like okay they may not call it so you really got to finish the shot right. but the NBA has gone out of its way to say that we are going to call fouls right. Right. so much so that they're giving us challenges now where we can argue those which another point is we have to preserve our challenges at all costs I think if this is the way that the NBA is going using those challenges sometimes it's like okay the argument is like hey don't, like, sometimes you go home with the challenge, right. use it in the first half. No, you have to save it for the end of games because situations like this, that seems like the only save for referees and ability. But what if you use the challenge, you get the call right, you get to keep the challenge? That, okay. might, be, that might be a suggestion. Yes. I think the worst thing to happen was when they added the two-minute report because everybody's like, well, that was a foul. Well, no, that wasn't. And then all of a sudden, they put the two-minute report in, Stephen A., and then they came out, that was a foul. How does that change? What good is a protest if it doesn't change anything? Yeah. I thought that's what protest was supposed to do, bring about change. That's right. Well, if I'm protesting and I get no change, what the hell am I protesting for? That's right. Yes. And then Gucci, come on, James Williams, that's the one that looks like Gucci Man, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it looks like Gucci Man. <laughs> come on, bro. You, you, you got... You've got to get this right. Detroit, the Detroit Pistons are struggling for every scratching and claw. They're eight and forty-nine, Stephen A. They say we got one dead to right. We're up a bucket. Guess what? We're about to get this five, possibly go up three. Now people are saying, well, see, that was a makeup call. Yes. They blew the one in Houston. Yep. Now they get now they get this. That's what they're saying. They're that's not, not that coordinated. But the, I know they're they're not, not, we don't but, agree with it, but, but the they, fans, that's what they're saying. But the fans, you already know it's scripted. We already know <laughs> who go win. We already know who go win the NBA finals, blah, blah, blah. But that's not the case. But guys. Adam Silver, you got to get this right. You've got to get it right for the simple reason. The fans have got to believe what they're seeing is on the up and up. Because if you don't, they're going to think they're getting professional Well, not wrestling. just that. Let's keep this in mind as well. One of the reasons you see such, you know, just such stickling tendencies when it comes to the officiating is because of the advent of, of gaming and sports betting. Yeah. I mean, that's what's going on. And so we, we there's, there's an elevated level of sensitivity in terms of getting it right and certainly not compromising the integrity of the game. Messed up my parlor, that, 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 There we go. <laughs> but here's the problem. You're right. But here's the problem. The problem is, is that when you get it wrong, despite technology, when you get it wrong, despite, you know, what you see it before our very eyes, now that becomes even more problematic because there's less of an excuse today than it was back in the day to have these right. calls missed. Stephen A., but we didn't need technology. The human I can see, he ran yes, the man over. Yeah. I don't need replay. It's so egregious, and I get it. Late in games, you know, the ticky-tack stuff, they're going to let it go. Right. But when the foul is so egregious and it happens in plain... <laughs> It's not like they're, they're, uh, there's, a hump, there's a pile, but they're in the back, about to be backcourt, and the guy runs the guy over. Ran I don't over. need technology. That was, that was your sport. That was football right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That's what we saw. We saw. We Come saw. on. That's what we saw. You gotta Great get that tackle. Right. You got to get that That was right. KC versus San Francisco. That wasn't the Knicks versus Detroit. <laughs> That's what we saw last night. They got to get no it right. No doubt about it. I to try to what I look like. I'm going to try to up Jimmy with the heat. Come on, fire. Yeah, I'm gonna